Hey there! In this video, we're going to cover Google Analytics 4 Measurement ID. Where can you find it? We're going to learn not to confuse it with Property ID. Then we're going to compare it with the Universal Analytics Tracking ID. So many identifiers not to be confused with each other. When do you need GA4 Measurement ID? And for those who stick till the end, we're going to talk about how does GA4 Measurement ID actually expose your data and what can you do to prevent that. So let's go into the browser. Here we are in GA4 CYA program Google Analytics 4 account and if you go to the admin section and then in this middle column choose data streams then choose the proper data stream you will see measurement ID here it's structured as G dash and then a string of numbers and letters. It's important to understand that property ID in Google Analytics 4 is a different number and not to be confused with each other because property ID is used for data API. Another way actually that is uh, available in GA4 to send data to the servers. But for now, just have in mind that you need to go to data streams, pick the proper data stream and measurement ID is there. Previously for Universal Analytics, we had UA dash some string of numbers, which was the tracking ID for that property and then all the collected data would be filtered further down in something called views where you would be able to see different parts of this gigantic pool of data that Google Analytics collects for you. We have a separate video for filtering the data in Google Analytics that you can find on our channel. Let's go back to the measurement ID of Google Analytics 4. If you look at it and then you wonder what does it mean Google Analytics official documentation says that a measurement ID is an identifier for a web data stream. I prefer to think about it as a physical address for the data warehouse for your Google Analytics data. So if you want to send something to a warehouse you basically need to know the address of that warehouse and that's exactly what measurement ID does for you. It helps you to uh, point the data that you want to send about your visitor behavior on a web on your website. Google Analytics for measurement ID is exposed. What does that mean? So if I go to any site, in this case I'm going to Data Driven You, and then go to the head of the source code of a website, here it is. Take a look at this line of code g dash one j one y n etc if we go back here that's the measurement id for this particular google analytics 4 property meaning that if anybody can know the address of the warehouse of google analytics data they can send the data and intentionally or accidentally pollute your data set in your ga4 server and uh, you can prevent that by filtering the data and there is a separate video on that topic as well on our channel. I hope you found this video interesting and if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you soon in the next GA4 topic.